Hey guys, what is up? Dave coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel today. And today's video is about an update to IL to CPP dumper. I will admit, I don't know what the changes are to it um, because I mostly can't read this shit. Um, well, I shouldn't call it shit because frankly, I'm a nice person. I, I, I respect other places and people and languages and stuff, but I don't... <laughs> I can't read that. So uh, I, I don't know what it says. And I'm, I guess I could do this. I don't know if that's going to work, though, because the entire page is English except for that little section of text. Yeah, that's not going to work. So I can't read that. That's no big deal. But 4.0 was released. Um, it adds something to deal with Unity March 2018. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but I'm going to make the tutorial on dumping it anyway. I gotta thank a guy who messaged me on Facebook, and I just happened to get to it really quickly, which is not a normal thing for me. I apologize for that. I'm very busy at the moment with a lot of things. But he wanted me to dump Critical Ops. Apparently, the older versions of IL to CPP dumper were not able to dump this. And I noticed, hey, there's been an update less than 24 hours ago. Let me download it and I'll try it for him. So I ended up trying it out and it does actually dump and I wanted to make a new tutorial video for the dumping of ILTA CPP files to let you guys know, hey, there's an update, so go and get it. Um, so I obviously I already downloaded it. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually, you know, get an APK to download and all that. First of all, you're gonna wanna obviously download this zip file. I obviously already did, it's right here. Uh, and I already extracted it to this folder and then on top of that you're going to want to go find your APK. Using APKPure.com is usually your best bet. You can go read more. It takes you to the game. If you don't want to download the full X APK, you just want the single APK and that's it. Click versions and the APK for that version will be right next to it right here. So you can just click that and it gives you the uh, just the APK. Once the APK downloads, make a folder somewhere. Drop the APK there, open it up. You can use WinRAR for this or WinZip if you change it to .zip. And then you wanna go in, you wanna go lib, you wanna delete the x86 folder, cause then the game will only read off of this folder no matter the device it's on. Click that and you wanna extract the lib il to cpp.so and you want to extract the global metadata which is an assets, bin, data, managed, metadata global metadata so it's right there from there close the APK and run the dumper very simple so you're gonna want to first select the IL to CPP then the global metadata and then it's gonna ask you a question of was this made with the unity version greater than or equal to March of 2018 I don't know how to find that out but good rule of thumb is if it gives you an error try the opposite so I happen to try no. It initializes the metadata and then it takes you to this screen where you can select which way you want it to dump. I have always had the best luck with number four, the auto plus. So you want to simply hit four. It'll dump. It'll find the addresses. Super simple. It'll make the dummy DLL files and you're good to go. So you get your full dump here which you can see is all in here. I don't know anything about critical ops. Like if I search get ammo, do I get anything? Get ammo in mag, sweet. So yeah, you could simply mod this. Here's the offset. Open IL to CPP.so in the hex editor, hit control G. And then from there, you could modify the eight bytes here, just like any other eight byte uh, code, which at the moment, I don't have the code in front of me to do that. So I don't actually know what you edit that to from memory, but I know you can modify that and then you can save it, put it in the game, make it so you have 99 ammo in every mag and, or even then you can also do has ammo in mag, use the offset and uh, it'll actually um, always think you have ammo. So if you're in reset reload state, you can always probably set that to false. This might be something I mess with just for the fun of it. Uh, but you know, I'll do that when the time comes. 
So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Once it's modified, I just remembered I didn't tell you. Once it's modified, you take that IL to CPP file, put it back in the APK where you found it, and then close that. And you can sign it with APK Signer or um, iAndro's tool. Actually, that's not his username anymore. I don't remember what his new name is, but I know him by the, his old name so well and for so long that I keep forgetting what his new one is. But, you know, whatever. People know who I'm talking about when I say that, for those that have been in the scene for a long time. You can re-sign it with his tool as well, which is APK Easy Tool. Um, that's going to be your best tool to use for decompiling APKs and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys later.